Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. Also, welcome back to Monique, my Mark 1 MX-5. Sorry, Unos Roadster to be more specific and accurate. She hasn't appeared on the channel for quite some time, but in the UK, the weather is changing, it's getting colder, wetter and darker, so she's been tucked away safely in the garage. However, she is overdue a service, so that's what I'm doing in today's video. Now, as you can see, this garage is quite dark, dingy and tight, so not a particularly good area to work in. So with the clap of my hands, I'll be somewhere a little bit more appropriate. Right, right, let's get to work. Before I get started, I want to stress I'm not a trained mechanic and this isn't strictly a how-to guide. However, if you do happen to learn something, then that is good. For this job, I use the following fluids, parts and tools. 4 litres of Castrol Magnatec 10W40 oil, oil filter, new sump plug, ratchet, a 19mm socket for the engine oil sump plug, and if you're doing the job in Britain, you'll want a mug for a cup of tea as well. For the gearbox oil change, you'll need an adjustable spanner, a 24mm socket, a fluid pump, and of course, new gearbox oil. Redline MT90 is really popular in the MX-5 community, but sadly I couldn't get any in time. The product I'm using is made by Comma, which is a reputable brand. And for the diff oil change, you'll need a 23mm socket and a 24mm socket, a fluid pump and of course, new diff oil. It's best to get the car warm before doing the work so it will be easier to get the oil out, but the oil could be a bit hot, so best to wear gloves or some protective equipment. Using a 19mm socket, I undid the sun bolt, which was stiff, but thankfully not too stubborn. Whilst that was pouring out, I moved onto the diff. Now, before you drain the diff oil, it's imperative that you make sure you can undo the plug for the fill hole, otherwise you'll have an empty diff with no way of filling it. And, well, that's no fun for anyone, is it? The plug for the fill hole is 23 millimeters, which is not a common size and not one that I had in my tool set when I filmed this. So I borrowed a 23 millimeter socket from one of the mechanics. Thanks, Jake. The bottom size is more conventional though, and that is 24 millimeters. Just a heads up, the old diff oil is bound to stink to high heaven, so bear that in mind. Once the oil has drained, be sure to give the existing sump plug a good wipe before reinstalling. Then refit it using a torque setting between 39 and 54 newton meters of torque. The next part will require muscular endurance and wrists of steel, as you need to pump the new diff oil up and into the diff. Thankfully, it's only a litre or so, and you'll know when it's full because oil will start to come out of the fuel hole. Once full up, refit the plug for the fuel hole, which also has a torque setting of 39 to 54 newton meters. But as I only had a spanner to hand, I simply did it up as tight as I could. Right, time for the more difficult bit, removing the oil filter. It's tucked near the alternator and the access isn't the best. You can either attempt to go from the top like this, but that doesn't work too well for me because my MX-5 has got a factory fit strut brace. The other way is to go from the bottom, which is easier when you happen to have access to a ramp like me. Although you can do this with the car on jack stands, but you will probably need to remove the offside front wheel. The oil filter itself should be done hand tight, so to loosen it, you should simply unscrew it by hand and you shouldn't need to use any tools. The oil filter itself will still have oil in it, so try to keep it as, as upright as you can when you're removing it from the vehicle. Make sure that the seal is still in the filter as well and not stuck in the engine. Replace the sump plug and torque it up to between 39 and 54 newton meters. After doing that, I turned my attention to the gearbox. Like the diff, you'll want to make sure that the plug for the fill hole can be undone before you remove the plug for the drain hole. The plug for the fill hole is square, so unless you have a specialist tool, you'll probably need to use an adjustable spanner like I am here, or a wrench if you're watching this in the US of A. As long as you can undo the plug for the fuel hole, proceed on to undoing the 24 mm sump plug for the drain hole and let the gearbox oil drain out. At this point, you'll want to do the most important thing of all, make a brew. Once the oil has been drained from the gearbox and the tea has been drained from the mug, proceed to refitting the sump plug for the drain hole on the gearbox and that has a torque setting of, yes, you guessed it, between 39 and 54 newton meters. Like the diff, you'll need to use a fluid pump to get the fluid up and into the gearbox and sadly, this time around, it was two liters, not one. So yes, a lot of muscular endurance was required. Like the diff, you'll know when the gearbox is full up with oil because oil will start to drip out of the fuel hole. Ideally, the plug for the fuel hole needs to be torqued between 25 and 39 newton meters, but as I was using an adjustable spanner, I simply did it up as tight as I could. Right, back to the oil filter. 
Now for the new filter, use some of the new engine oil to lubricate the seal and use some of the oil to pour into the filter itself. After that, reinsert the oil filter and make sure you do it up by hand. You don't need to use any tools for this. Just simply screw it up as tight as you can using just your hands. Of course, you're now at a point where you can start to refill the engine up with oil. Don't add all of it in to begin with. Add, I'd say, half, three quarters maybe. Let the engine run for a bit and then recheck the levels. The oil capacity for the 1.8 litre Mark 1 Mazda MX-5 is 3.8 litres, so a 4 litre bottle will have you well covered. After the car has been run for a bit, just make sure there's no leaks coming from any of the plugs you've refitted, and hopefully jobs are good'em. I did also replace the shift boots and replace the oil in the shifter turret as well, but to be honest, the footage I got wasn't very usable, so I decided not to use it. What I can tell you though, is that both shift boots were pretty ruined, so I'm glad that I preemptively bought the shift boot kit from MX-5 Parts, and I can confirm the gear change is better now the new oil has been put into the shift turret. So there we have it, three services in one video. I do hope you have enjoyed this video or perhaps found it useful. If so, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.